Hey, it's Emily from It's Gone Viral, and I'm here on the blue carpet for the London premiere of the most epic superhero movie we've all been waiting for, and the latest addition to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Eternals. All the stars are here, Angelina Jolie, Kit Harrington, Gemma Chan, Richard Madden, and so many more. So strap in, Marvel's fans, because it's gonna be a good one. Eternals, assemble. Hello. Hello, how are you Hello. doing? How are you? I'm yeah, very good, thank you. Congratulations on the film, it was incredible. So obviously diversity is a massive theme here in the film and with the cast. Did you have that in mind when you were writing it? Was that important for you? It was, absolutely. I think that in all films you want to see yourself and I think in this film in particular a lot of people are going to see themselves on screen. It's really a story about humanity and humanity we're many different colors. People love different people, and that's that's the, what makes us beautiful. And so we really wanted to put that into the story from the beginning, but in a way that was truthful. I'm half Japanese, I'm half French, I was raised by two women. I never fit into one box, and I think that's what this movie is. It doesn't fit into one box. And I think it's fair to say that Angelina's role, Fina, is quite similar to her in a way. Quite strong, but also kind of fragile at the same time. Did you write it for her? We got a phone call. I don't think this is a spoiler, so I'll just tell the story. We got a phone call in the writer's room. We spent about nine months in a windowless room with Chloe Zhao and Nate Moore and Kevin writing this film. And at one point, there was a phone call that Angelina was interested in being in the film. She was interested, and there was, was there a part for her? And we knew right away that no one had the strength, the fragility, the elegance to play Athena, the goddess of war. And so from that point forward, we tailored that role for her. And you can see in the film that you know only she could have played it. Angelina, uh, hi, I have to ask, you seem like a big dysfunctional family, Eternals. Is it like that off screen as well? Because you all seem to get on so well. We do actually get it. There's no, there's no exciting drama, except that we are all a little silly and fun I and nuts and we have our individual relationships but yeah we have a we're we're, an, we're a good group we are like a family we protect each other like a family we play tricks on each other and joke you know we're we're a nice we're a nice group and what's the main thing that you want people to take away from this film i hope that they watch this film and they don't think about the diversity that it just feels normal and it just feels <laughs> you know, you, you, you get to know Makari and you and you have kids saying, Isn't she cool? Isn't she fast? Isn't she a great superhero? And and they and also isn't she a great way of communicating and isn't she so I, I think the most important thing is that you just where it's accepted. It's accepted as a, as a family and it becomes the new way we uh, that is just normal and it's no longer a big deal to see two men kiss and love each other and have a child right these are these are thank you so much congratulations Hey, what's going on? I'm Kevin Hart. Hi, my name's Eric Stone Street. Hi, I'm Margo. I'm Journey. I'm James McAvoy. I'm Daniel Radcliffe. I'm Rebel Wilson. I'm Jeremy Clarkson. I'm going to be translating some Scottish tweets for It's Gone Viral. On It's Gone Viral. Ooh. On It's Gone Viral.